She's one of the most divisive politicians in Europe and is heading to the second round of voting in France's presidential election. A key test for the future of the European Union against growing anti-establishment sentiment and a rejection of mainstream politics. So who is Marine Le Pen? She was the leader of France's far-right party, the National Front, but she stepped aside in April to focus on her presidential bid. Ce soir, je ne suis donc plus la présidente du Front National, je suis la candidate à la présidentielle. She had inherited the leadership in 2011 from her father, Jean-Marie Le Pen, who has described Nazi gas chambers as a detail of history. Ms. Le Pen has tried to reposition the party away from its extreme right-wing past to broaden its appeal to mainstream voters. Now, after the Brexit vote and Donald Trump's victory, Ms. Le Pen believes her time has come. Le Brexit était impossible. L'élection de Donald Trump était impossible, et pourtant ça s'est réalisé. L'élection, mon élection à la présidence de la République est présentée depuis des mois comme impossible au peuple de le rendre possible. So what does she stand for? Ms. Le Pen has strong anti-immigrant views, wants to strengthen France's borders, and focuses on fears of Islamic radicalism. She's called for an 80% reduction in immigration, but has softened the edges of the party's earlier rhetoric that immigration was a threat to French culture. We are contraints to put a term to immigration massive in France, because our country cannot support this important financial financier important. Her critics say the National Front is still anchored in its xenophobic roots. Ms. Le Pen wants to beef up criteria that would permit people to legally enter France, but isn't interested in a travel ban à la Donald Trump. Je ne me sens pas l'obligation, euh, comme présidente de la République, d'accepter que des multirécidivistes, par exemple, reçoivent un visa pour venir euh, en France. Voilà. Ms. Le Pen has also said that French citizenship should be either inherited or merited, and wants to make it more difficult for people to become French citizens. Economically, Ms. Le Pen focuses on protectionism. Ce qu'a obtenu Donald Trump. Le constructeur automobile Ford renonce à une délocalisation d'usine au Mexique au profit d'une unité de production aux États-Unis. Le protectionnisme fonctionne donc lorsqu'il est porté par une volonté et que le pays dispose de sa souveraineté économique. She also wants to reinstate France's national currency, which would likely unleash chaos across the eurozone. No country has ever attempted to leave the euro, and according to French polls, a majority of people don't support leaving the currency. Ms. Le Pen blames the euro for France's chronically high unemployment and for hollowing out the country's manufacturing base by making French labor and goods too costly. The self-proclaimed Madame Frexit has also promised a referendum on EU membership. She's critical of NATO and she wants closer ties with Russia. So will she win? Centrist Emmanuel Macron, followed by Ms. Le Pen, topped the polls in the first round of the election, and the two will face off in a head-to-head -head on May 7th. The candidate who receives the most votes wins the presidency. Polls predict Mr. Macron will handily defeat Ms. Le Pen in the runoff. France's main parties, the ruling Socialists and the Conservative Republicans, have both urged their supporters to back Mr. Macron. But Ms. Le Pen has a very passionate supporter base, so she should not be counted out just yet.